everybody welcome back to queenie of london and welcome to vlogmas day six we're in my kitchen and an elf has just dropped off my little um sainsbury's stock up um shop but it's just got some like bits in that were festive so i thought i would show you um at the back there i just have some Evian water I like to use online shopping to get all the bits that I can't carry because I don't drive and I can't lug all these on the bus um, and then I have some fairy liquid some bathroom cleaner I've got some Volvic summer fruits water and those ones there are just strawberry just some household kitchen towels, toilet rolls, bin liners, napkins, boring, boring, boring. But I do like my festive cleaning and my um, laundry stuff. So I have a new comfort, uh, Winter Warm, I think it's called, and Zoflora um, Festive Antibacterial Wipes. So they make cleaning a bit more fun for December, don't they? These ones here, Gator Aids, I think that's like tropical. They're not for me. Um, I have some American style hot dogs, Dinos, those are lush. Some Pringles and they have their festive packaging on now, which is fun. I love the sour cream ones where they're an elf. Um, we love these, these little Starbucks cafe lattes and they've got their festive packaging on now. Uh, baby powder, fruity tea cakes, love them in the morning. And I love these St. Pierre, anything from this whole range really. These St. Pierre seeded brioche burger buns, they are lush. And they also do some like little mini rounds of chocolate chips in. Mm, delish. <gasps> this isn't going to make it to the 25th. This is the Sainsbury's Taste of Difference Irish Cream Liqueur. My dad reliably informs me that this has more of a kick to it than Bailey's, so recommend that one. <laughs> Two Philadelphias, because we go through that like crazy. Then we've got some single cream and some squirty cream for da -da -da, chocolate Yule Log absolutely love your log the sainsbury's one is really really good and it's always really moist and creamy oh it's just the best i could go through probably half of that right now <laughs> um just some lurpak some turkey for turkey sandwiches some cheese slices two liver sausage tuna and sweet corn for jacket potato a chocolate orange what's christmas without a chocolate orange some cheesy rolls which i can smell and i haven't had lunch today so i might have to have one of those in a bit some caramel bars these are retro but they're so good clubs mint and orange and i think that's pretty much it so it was just like a little haul today just to stock up a little bit mainly with the heavy stuff that i can't carry so stay tuned for the next clip because i have something even more festive to show you that arrived in the post today so the other thing that was waiting for me when i got home today is from the range and i'm gonna open this up and show you what's inside i think you'll like him how cute is he it's my little santa and he's for the kitchen because he's doing some baking he's got a little whisk a gingerbread man he's got a chef's hat look at his fluffy beard and his cute little face and look at his little candy canes and his apron isn't he cute and he's got little velvet trousers and his boots he's literally adorable i'm gonna pop him on my kitchen windowsill isn't he cute i love those little candy canes he's so unusual he is on my kitchen windowsill he's standing by the freshly baked gingerbread sign too cute so he looks good there i just need a couple more bits for the windowsill i need a little tiny um christmas tree for there and some other bits i've got like a little cheese board sleigh that i might just use for display i might pop that there as well so i've just popped out because i ordered something from this brilliant bookshop i love it in here i spent so many hours in here at the weekend something i ordered as a christmas present is here so i'm gonna pick that up and i might have a little walk along the king's road to see if i can find some christmas cards it's about i think it's six o'clock now so just coming out for like an evening little stroll 
must show you some of the books he's got in the windows. I absolutely love it in here. You can get some really, really good finds. Look at that lovely one down there on Chanel. He's brilliant for first editions as well. Look at that. It's one of my favourite things to do, looking around bookshops. Look, 10% off all books during December. He's a good guy. Look how gorgeous it is in there. <laughs> I absolutely love this art print shop here on the King's Road and they've changed out their windows and I just wanted to show you look some of my subscribers might like some of these aren't they amazing I love that one oh that's what it looks like inside and they always have like film posters as well I love it when they change up their windows look oh I could have all of them in my house peep through <laughs> about to head into our teeny tiny temporary waitrose our new waitrose i don't know if you can see just through the trees there there's like a building site and it stretches all the way to the end of like this block that's our new waitrose and they said it would be open in december but it doesn't look very near finished to be absolutely honest so more trips to fulham for me if i need to go to waitrose this is just this little bit of the king's road and i'm gonna nip in there just for some food for alfie because we can't have him going hungry for tomorrow can we i've got some nice christmasy bits here i'm loving this in like its own little greenhouse like some festive planters and stuff this one's very pretty i've got a vase that that would match quite nicely with i'm looking for that kitchen windowsill guys I wish that was in that gold planter. What else have we got? Is any behind me? No. Maybe around the other side. Oh, there is some stuff around the other side. We've got Christmas cards. But I'm after a pack. I think I might have to like head up to Old Peter at the top at Sloan Square. We'll do that. Raymond Briggs. I love that. Father Christmas film is so funny. Another blooming Christmas. Some paper decorations up here, gone all out. Hmm, no packs here. This is a nice ideal home. That looks lovely. I think I might get that from my mum. She might like to read that one. Next to the bananas here. Have a little nip in here because I have not found any cards anywhere else in a box. Heavy, heavy door. You must know this store backwards by now, guys, hey? <laughs> Are there any elves today? Sometimes there's some John Lewis elves running about. I'm going to the cars at the back. But maybe we'll also have a little look at the wrap while I'm here. They've still got quite a lot, look. I'm walking past, I'm walking past, I'm walking past. <laughs> looking at the Hotel Chocolat. I am walking, I promise. <laughs> Here's the cards. Right, let's have a little look. These are a bit small. They're a bit small. seeing any there that I like but not jumping out at me I will know when I see them no I'm not seeing any there either is there any more around here there's some there Nope. What's around the back of this one? They're all going. I swear there was more than this before. I quite like those snowman ones, but they're a bit wishy-washy. I'm going to have a little dig. Nothing's jumping at me. 
I still haven't done my Chelsea tour but I will give you a little sneak peek. This is Duke of York Square and this is our central Christmas tree. Isn't she a beauty this year? And that's all I'm going to show you for today. <laughs> I'm out of John Lewis now by the way obviously but um, I did not find my Christmas cards and then I walked around and got distracted <laughs> but I did get a few like gift tags and uh, bags and stuff so that was not entirely wasted but I did find on my phone when I was in there that they have the Christmas cards I'm after online so I'm just gonna have to order them I like buying things in shops though guys you know this oh and here's a queenie crown you can see them soon it's been, uh... I'm just gonna go and walk back down to Marx's now and just grab the few little bits that I didn't get from my online shop for tea so I'm back home now, all cosy and warm. Um, I was a bit bad in John Lewis because I noticed that a lot of the baubles were going out of stock and I was hunting and I managed to actually find this one on one of their decorated trees and the gentleman in there said that I could buy it. So that was really nice. Um, this one's for my brother. I'm going to give that to him because he liked the look of that when he saw it on my vlog. So he can have that one for his tree. And I also managed to find, which I was so happy about, and I need to find a place for her on this very, very crowded tree. <laughs> I managed to get myself the carousel horsey. I absolutely love her. I think she's so cute. I'm glad that she's not a unicorn, but she reminds me of the front of Annabelle's from this year in Berkeley Square. So that's a nice keepsake. <laughs> so I'm really pleased I got her. Now I'm going to end the vlog here for tonight, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching as per usual. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to have some squirty cream and some Yule Log for dinner. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7. Until then, lots of love from London, Queenie and the mad squirrel.